got no benefits from the Netherlands. Know your name and where you're from and mm -hmm. what you're doing in the Netherlands. I am Muni okay. and I study international business administration at the VU. Okay. Yes. And why did you choose the VU? Well, first I I wanted to go to uh, Rotterdam because I've been to Rotterdam before. Okay. So I thought like, okay, I want to enroll for uh, Erasmus, and then I didn't get into it because it was like uh, um, numerous fixes. But then I did apply for VU as a. Second. As a backup, <laughs> look at me! <laughs> what a betrayal! But um, in the end, it, um, VU turned out to be greater than I thought. It's in the financial district, and um, and they are so inclusive and and responsive to to your troubles, for example. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And what would you say your um, the process was like applying up to the point you got accepted and started the school program? The application went went well, um, although it was a bit of a hassle because yeah, it was like some things were unclear because they wanted me to um, do a math test like any other international student, but I didn't have the time to prepare for that. Then I opted for compensation because it's the same system, it's Dutch, you know? And why is there a difference in this? So, so I opted for compensation and uh, okay. I had to do some other stuff. Okay. Yeah. And what would you say, like, the, uh, do you have, are there any differences between you schooling as a Surinamese versus like other international for, or foreign students who are coming here to study as well? Are there any perks or benefits or? Um, coming from Suriname, let me break the stereotype, <laughs> okay? Because we ain't got no benefits from the Netherlands because we are from Suriname. It ended in 1975, so let's let's break that stereotype. The only thing that they are compensating for the history is the tuition fee, and that's why I'm here because it's cheaper. It's the statutory fee. You like about the the like as the Dutch say, we can always improve, but um, for now they um, it's great. It's fine, you know, like. Um, they do their best in building a community things or like having activities or also have an independent um, newspaper for the university. So that is that is a start. That's great. Mm -hmm. And they also have a room, a prayer room for those who pray every day. And they also have a meditation um, box. Okay. Yeah. And plants. And so like... The, the inclusivity, um, diversity, and um, sustainability that they have plans around. Yeah, and, yeah okay. and, and they try to, in, in the building, they try to be as sustainable as possible. Okay. Are you part of any groups or communities at your university? Um, so, I, you know you have those like study associations and stuff. And then, yeah, for business, I am part of this study association. But for me, it's like I know what my identity is. So I just don't feel like I can relate to them, you know, like the drinking, the partying and stuff. Um, um, yeah, I, I have seen most of it. So I'm like, OK, mm. I'm done with this. Mm. But I am an ambassador for a course at the VU. Yeah. So that helps to ground me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you like about living and studying in the Netherlands? What would you say you love most and what would you dislike? <laughs> what do you think I dislike most? <laughs> it's the cold, sorry. sorry. <laughs> it's the coldness, but the coldness of people or the weather. Okay. Both. It's okay. both. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I try to adapt to that. How have you adopted? <laughs> I think 70% fine with it. <laughs> That's a, good, that's a good number. That's it is. <laughs> after three years. That's a good number. <laughs> after three years, yeah, 70% okay with it. Yeah. How, what do you think has helped you done that? Like, how have you been able to build a tough skin out? I think what helps is that from time to time, like every once in a year, you escape back to your home country or to the warmth and you come back 
and then um, so you appreciate both roads more mm. yeah yeah okay and what do you like about the Netherlands? <laughs> um, the work-life balance that one is very important um, and how responsive the Netherlands is with what the society wants for example if they want something if they don't want something they are responsive to that for example working from home and um, um, what else you know like some political stuff um, yeah and so they do listen mm. but they also try their best